Hey folks, it's Art Wolf. Welcome. Today we're going to do an unboxing for you, and it is the new Sea Lion from Decision Games, courtesy of Decision Games. So thank you, Decision Games, for sending me this. Did not expect to get it. It showed up, and I'm like, oh, this. It, let, let's take a look at this. So this is the new deluxe edition. The original edition of this game appeared in World at War magazine issue number 52. That was from about 2017, as I recall. It is a two-player hex encounter war game on the, as the title says, proposed German invasion of England that did not actually happen because the Luftwaffe never achieved air superiority over England or the Channel. Um, so we're going to take a look at it here. On the back, we have some information. There's a board, some counters. We'll take a look at all that. Uh, but it's two players. You can probably break this into teams. It looks big enough to, to accommodate two two-player teams to me. Um, playing time, four hours. Hex scales, three miles per hex. One to three day game turn scale, and it looks like divisions, regiments, and battalions are the unit scale. Nice that they put that on the back of the box and discreetly. Um, uh, complexity medium, which looks roughly accurate to me from what I've seen. Um, and solitaire suitability is just a hair on the low side. I think there probably is some hidden information in here, given that there is an air and naval operations um, system in here as well. So let's take a look at it. And we'll notice that, first of all, it is in the now standard two-inch, uh, kind of industry standard, really, war game box. It's the nice thick kind that we've seen from a lot of publishers in recent years. Feels pretty nice. So, immediately, we get some baggies. Two baggies. Two baggies. These are the kind, I will point out, you know, there's only two of them, but uh, they're, they're the kind with the hole in them, which is the kind you want. I, I sometimes take a little pair of scissors and nip the corners off to prevent air from building up in there. So let's see what we get, and the first thing we're going to observe is the mounted map. So let's get that set up so that you can look at it as we proceed to go through the rest of the contents. All right, so here is the Sea Lion map, and it's quite nice, in my opinion. Uh, we will say map graphics are Joe Youst. Game design is by Eric Harvey. Production, Richard Aguirre. And it is obviously a 2023 release. If we look at uh, the terrain here, there's a fair amount of open terrain, but there's also well, light and light versus heavy woods, and there's these uh, bunker line hexes, which presumably are fortified. And then there's some unfortified bunker line hexes up here as the Germans presumably come in. Pretty nice looking map. Uh, it is a mounted map, if I didn't say that already, and I thought I did, but if I didn't, it's a mounted map. Um, and it is pooching a little bit, but not too much. Um, it will lay flat, I'm sure, in the fullness of time. The rule book instructions. Um, this is a 40-page rule book. There are some sources immediately that I notice on the back um, that were drawn upon to flush out this hypothetical situation in uh, a war game, including a couple of websites, at least a couple of which are in German, and some actual historical documents as well. And it looks like there's, uh, well, let's take a look at the rules. So, matte finish, as we said, 40 pages uh, table of contents looks well done. It looks, you know, hey, I can actually find stuff in here. That's fantastic. Um, it is full color. Uh, not seeing that it is lavishly illustrated, but it uh, it looks fine. Uh, and it uses the sort of new typeset layout that Decision's been using for at least a couple of years now, which I actually like quite a bit. Um, there are uh, hi uh, highlights. Are hi uh, important notes are highlighted in red. And it looks like uh, examples are highlighted in blue. Does it actually say that? Indeed it does. How about that? Right first sentence in the rule book actually says that. Zones of control. So actual rules here look like... Are we in optional rules? There are some optional rules. Actual rules look like about 18 pages. Looks like a, a fairly dense 18 pages. Um, but not a, insanely so. I mean... Page count, this is a standard disclaimer whenever I say this, uh, page count does not necessarily equate to rules complexity. There are some reasonably complicated games in a relatively compact page count and some moderate complexity games in a really high page count. 
So uh, it is a piece of data and nothing more. Uh, so we do have about two pages of optional rules. We have an alternate British setup. Uh, and then we have, in, in the past, uh, Decision has put this in a sort of a separate booklet, uh, which I'm fine with, but I'm also kind of fine in a game this size anyway of putting this right in the rule book. And this is a uh, article, or the article, that originally appeared in World at War number 52, and it is by, uh, well, the maps at least are by Joe Yost, and Chris Perello is the author of the article. Um, so quite nice maps. Actually, uh, this would be interesting to read. Actually, the uh, these historical articles uh, t t uh, by average I tend to be very good, very good, excellent. Uh, so I look forward to giving this a look. And here we have uh, some British forces uh, deployments in September 1940, which is pretty cool. British radar network. That's actually pretty cool as well. Uh, little sidebar. Is it a bluff? Well, not in this game. And we have two, whoops, we've got some player aid cards as well. All right, so we have two player aid cards that are identical. Terrain effects chart on one, and then uh, looks like a little bit of structure for air combat and naval airstrikes on the side. And then on the other side, we have a CRT, and it looks like the system on here sounds actually kind of interesting. Um in the sense that you're really not calculating odds or anything, you're just determining fire superiority. Uh, or, you know, defender, uh, attacker's total strength is three times defender's total strength. So you're meeting conditions rather than those conditions just being odds. That's interesting. I'm very curious to uh, to see how that works in practice. Now, there is uh, what I'll, I guess, call a, a counter sheet and a, about a quarter. Um, 280 counters there. They are half-inch counters. They're on the new, thicker stuff. They feel pretty good. Um, I will say that some of the factors are, well, most of the factors on the counters are white. Uh, and against this quite light gray and this even lighter tan, uh, I don't feel like that white is necessarily showing up all that much. For the, the unit symbols, the interior of the unit symbols, it's completely fine. Uh, for the factors, I feel like that's just a little bit hard to read. Um, otherwise, uh, they look pretty good. Registration looks great. Uh, these are, the, I have handled these uh, newer um, decision counters, and they're really nice. They're nice and thick brown core stock. And it's certainly a treat to uh, have counters this nice, uh, you know, after recently punching and clipping and organizing a lot of stuff from the old days. Uh, but yeah, it looks like about uh, eh, 300 counters or so. That's, so that's going to be 240. That's going to be 60. So it is going to be 300, 300 counters. This is going to be 280. Uh, so this is going to be 60. So 340 counters. Uh, and you can see that we do get air and naval assets here too. It doesn't look like a super duper hardcore uh, air and naval system, but and at a glance through the rules, that appears to be borne out. Uh, but this is a pretty interesting looking game, actually. I, I'm I'm more intrigued by it than I expected to be, as it is a hypothetical, and I am less interested as a rule, not necessarily. Totally uninterested, but I am, as a rule, less interested in hypothetical situations than I am in historical situations. Sea Lion Deluxe Edition, brand new from Decision Game, looks quite sharp. If this is a topic of interest to you, you may want to give this a look. It's nicely presented. Uh, the rules look nice. The map looks fantastic. The counters, other than maybe some contrast uh, issues, the counters feel really good. Um, and it uh, looks pretty promising. I will include a link to the product page in the video description, so if you are inclined, you can just hop down below and click away and check this out over on Decision Games' website. So I'd like to give a special shout-out to the patrons of Art Wolf Lair, without whose support and encouragement, it would be impossible to continue doing all of the things that we do here on Art Wolf Lair, so thank you, patrons. Thank you for watching, and until next time, happy wargaming!